how to use HubSpot CRM app. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the HubSpot CRM application, which is the desktop application that I'm talking about. And this is very, very much similar across the mobile application as well. So you can just watch this video and you will easily be able to follow through with your own desktop application or your own mobile application as well. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to HubSpot.com and over here, we're on the CRM platform and you're just going to click on get free CRM and now I already have logged on to my account so I'm going to continue with this and I'm going to continue with this account and I'm going to show you guys how to actually go along and use the HubSpot platform so on your top you basically have your navigation panel so from here you can manage your contact and within your contacts you have basic singular contacts one person individual contacts then you have companies that you can add you have calls and then you have target accounts then you also have a list and activity feeds now after that you have conversations. So in your conversations, you have basic inboxes, chat flow, snippets, and templates. After that, you have your marketing. Now in your marketing section, you have ads, email campaigns, landing pages, social media ads, SEO, campaigns, and forms. Then you have your basic sales. You have deals, forecasts, and tasks. Then you also have documents and meetings. Then you have your basic service section, which is basically your ticketing system, which is basically another fancy way of seeing your tasks or open tickets or whatever you might want to call it. It. then you have your automation and then you have your reports and analytics now to get started with hubspot you have to integrate your website within hubspot so i already have linked my wix website you can link any kind of website to your account you also can click on this icon over here and go to the app marketplace to integrate any kind of application that you use to manage your website directly onto hubspot so if there is an application that you like to use to manage some of your your um, day-to-day -day activities on your website, if you like to do email marketing on a certain application, or if you use certain data storage applications, then you can integrate them directly onto HubSpot. Now, to get started with your setup on HubSpot, what I like to do is first off, click on contacts and add all of your contacts over here. This is just a sample contact. And once you have your contacts, you can filter them by different uh, leads. So you can filter them by who created the contact or who is the contact owner, who is the, when it was created, who is the lead status. So if it is the open lead, if it's a closed lead, if it's a, a constant contact or anything like so, so you can categorize them accordingly. Then you have your conversations and in your conversations, it's very simple and easy. Now, what I like to do is I like to go on to the sales section and click on tasks over here and from here you actually do add cues and add your basic tasks so you can click on add queue and you can add sales and I'm just going to save this over here. Now you can see I have these basic sections of tasks, upcoming, most engaged, completed, and then I also added the field. And I can just go into the all section. I can click on create task over here. And then you can start creating your task. Let's say this task is find a leather supplier like so. And now you can set the type. So this is maybe a, a to-do task and the priority for this is high. And then you can associate this with previous companies, contact, deals or tickets so if this is associated with any of these three categories so if you have to find the leather supplier within a certain company or if this is going to be from a certain contact or if this is from a certain deal so maybe you made a deal with a shoe manufacturing company and you can just link or associate that deal over here then you also have your tickets so any previous tickets that might be related to this you can associate them over here then you also have your assigned to, you have your basic queue, you have your due dates, and you have reminders and notes you can add. So let's say um, I want this to be due within two weeks, and you can also set a time for when the due time will be over. So from over here, you can also add reminders and times to when the due date will be over. And I'm just going to click on create over here, and now you can see I have created this task. And depending on the status of the task, I can upgrade the status. So if it has been completed, it's going to be moved to the completed section, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, 
on HubSpot, you also have the service section. So if you click on service, you can add your tickets. So tickets are basically another way of adding tasks mostly. But if you click on create ticket over here, it's a bit different. So depending on the kind of um, task it is, you can create a entire automation based on it. So you can add different pipelines and add ticket statuses. So if it is a resolved ticket, if it's an issue, if the contact is waiting on us, if you are waiting on the contact, you can add them accordingly. So tickets deal with um, issues with the existing business or issues that are present within or any kind of thing that needs resolution, while tasks are usually focused on something that needs to be done. Now, after that, you have your automation and you can click on automation and then click on sequences over here and create a automation sequence. So you're just going to click on create sequence over here and you can have a sequence according to these pre-made prerequisites or templates or you can start from scratch as well but if we take a look at the prospecting template you can see so first off you have a call you have the basic call and you contact that person then you have a task that is immediately created you send a follow-up email you send them an email talking about what your work is about or what your product is about then you have another call that you can arrange in two to three business days then you have another automated email another call another email so this basically is a simple forum where you can introduce your product or whatever you are managing on to new people so whenever you have a new prospect or a new business deal that might be coming you feel like that person might be interested in your business you can follow up with this basic sequence so it's so on like with the reschedule meeting attempt so you can reschedule meetings like so and you have these pre-made emails and automated emails and that will do all of the hard work for you so you can take a look that first you have your email then you have a call then you have another follow-up email you have a rescheduling meeting attempt again depending on when the task is actually accomplished so whenever the task is accomplished the sequence will end as soon as the task or the thing that needs to be done is done you also have a product or demo request so uh, when someone wants to learn more about your product you can send them this sequence or you know you can initiate the sequence and you can just click on the sequence over here so you can scroll down and take a look and you can customize it according to your own business needs and then apply it to your HubSpot CRM. Now, after that, you have your report section and in your reports, you have your dashboards and you also have your analytic tools. So from here, you're going to be able to manage what your business is currently looking like, how your marketing is going, your sales, your service. You have different charts to get you a visual representation of your business. Then you also have analytic tools. So you can click on over here and let's say I want to have a contact analysis so you can click on over there and then you have your analysis of all the contacts the count of the contacts the original source how your contacts are working what is the business that you're currently doing obviously I haven't added a lot of fields onto my CRM that's why it's a bit empty but you're going to be able to find how many contacts you're generating and how much work you are actually getting individually from each contact so that is how simple and easy it is to use the HubSpot CRM. If you click on this HubSpot icon, it will lead you back to your dashboard over here where they're going to ask you to set up your entire profile on HubSpot. And if you click on the right over here, you have your profile and preferences, you have accounts and billings, you have prices and features. And if we take a look at the pricing of HubSpot, it is available for free. So the basic CRM that we are using today is available for free, where you can do contact management, contact website activities, companies, deals, and tasks and, and tasks and activities. So I find this to be more than enough for a free CRM tool. It fulfills most to all of my needs, but depending on the kind of marketing or kind of service you need you can opt for the marketing or the sales or the customer service or the cms or the uh, operations features of hubspot depending on your needs you can opt for those most of these start at 18 dollars per month and go up to a thousand dollars so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video